Hi Virgo, I'm Jess of Bahati Life Apothecary. If you don't know, thank you so much for tuning in. I wanted to spend this time shuffling the cards for you and talk to you about the month of April just to see what spirit has in store for you, what the divine has in store for you, the things that it is that you need to hear, the messages that you need to hear. First and foremost, just diving into this already, we have Eight of Wands and the King of Swords at the base of the reading. As I go through with this reading, my love, I really want to tell you that these readings are, aren't confined to any one message. It's pretty much what Spirit wants you to know for April or the time that it is that you're watching this. However, I'm going to break it into regular life, personal life. So we have Six of Cups and the Two of Cups at the base. Regular life, like your personal life, and then we're going to also shuffle for love because you guys have been asking me a lot lately to do more love readings, more love focus readings, and also divine messages. Okay, and yeah. The first thing that I'm getting, <laughs> Virgo, is um, actual, it's uh, right now, I don't know if you're in a space right now where you're feeling confused. The word that just came through actually is conflicted. Um, it actually is giving me an interesting sense of there's joy, there's things that make you very happy and things that you're proud of, things that you've accomplished, but it almost feels as though I'm, I'm seeing someone like at this at the base of like water um where i'm at now there's where i live now there's a wall there's a cement wall and the ocean f flows behind that cement wall and i'm almost visualizing someone dropping something accidentally into the water and losing it wondering if they're ever going to get it back um, and that's where this sense of disappointment is coming from. It feels like we're just diving right in with you guys, uh, Virgo. It feels, I'm, I'm watching you kind of, it's already dropped. It's already dropped into the water. This is something that has already occurred. It's already happened. And you're looking into the water and mourning, mourning the loss. This almost gives me a feeling of someone who they've lost whatever they've lost, um, they've looked for it, they've tried, they've tried, they've made efforts in order to regain what was lost, and now they're just looking into the ocean, realizing that they might have to accept the fact that it's gone. Okay, Nine of Swords is at the very base of this reading, and then also King, uh, I'm sorry, Knight of Wands. This is almost giving me the sense of, will I get my life back? Will I get my life, my vitality back? Will I ever be made new again? Will I ever feel energy again? Will I ever have an ex excitement towards life after what was lost? It feels very groundbreaking. And as I said that, Virgo, you want solid you want stable and to see the ground break underneath you is traumatizing no one would believe it it's a truth it's a truth a revelation um this is not what april is going to be about for you this is what you've already experienced virgo and i'm getting a sense that you've been picking up the pieces and it's interesting because like i said in the beginning you have a lot to be grateful for and happy for, but for whatever reason, um, I'm, I feel like you're picking up the pieces of things that you once lost. Even now, I'm looking at the base of this reading right now, we have Seven of Wands. This is someone who is very, feels very defensive. They feel like if they let their guard down, it would happen again. Um, so they do everything in their power to make sure that you'll, you won't catch them off guard. So that's something in the past. Okay, my love, this is an addiction. This has been something that has been plaguing you and bothering you and really intense, Virgo. This is very, very intense. This is the energy of the past. For the month of April, you are really laying to rest some really heavy hitting. Um, the word is addiction, but addiction is not the right word. Um, addiction doesn't do this justice. It doesn't do the service. Sometimes when we think of addiction, we think of toxic things, toxic energy, but I feel like, Virgo, 
it goes right back to the vision that it is I have of this person looking out into the water and being like, how am I going to get this back? I'm waiting for it to re-emerge, to resurface to the point where it could be time goes by, time goes by, time goes by, moon, suns, moon, suns, day, day, day. And this energy of expectancy and waiting in the month of April, Spirit is saying that I don't want to say that it's necessarily a loss, that it's there's a truth. I don't know why, but I'm I'm getting the sense of what was lost. There's truth in, a, a truth in that that is not revealed to you that you it really brings me to the space of um, divine intervention. It always seems like you know how could this be? How could this have happened? But it's 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 divine intervention, spirit and the divine and your ancestors your guides they are always looking out for you they always want what's best for you they do not want you to suffer they do not want you to have lack and if there's ever a space of loss you have to realize and recognize that there is a truth oh god i hate it when the cards do that they make me have to chase them <laughs> there's a truth that was real that was in existence see there was more to it there's more to it than meets the eye virgo so when you look at the loss, when you look at the suffering, um, you look at all you can see is what you know of it. Spirit is saying clearly, pardon me really quickly. Oh. Spirit is saying that there was more to it than meets the eye. And we see, we, we see what was going to happen if we, if we would have continued on with status quo. That's why we made it so that it slipped out of your hands. That's why we made it so that it was a loss to you. Um, the thing is, Virgo, is you're going to stop waiting. You're going to look at this. You have two mice. You have two mice. You've been doing a lot, Virgo, per usual, per usual. That's nothing new to you, but that's a part of this, this, pro, this, this, um, path, this, um, process, this way that you do things. And I'm hearing ringing in my ears. It's for me, this is confirmation. It's this process, this way that you do things that needs to be shook up and needed to be, you, it needed to be taken from your grip. You need to surrender to it because it was a plague. This, and literally, this had nothing to do with you, Virgo, what it is that you're called to let go of. Even as I'm looking at this now, literally, that's exactly the image that it was that I said earlier with this woman standing at the, the wall, looking out into the ocean, looking at what was lost, looking at what she had to, what was what she feels is taken, taken from her, that she was like, if I would have hold, hold on, held on to this differently, if I would have secured it, I wouldn't have lost it. And the, the universe is saying... You, I would have made it that you would have lost it regardless. I would have made it so that it would have been taken from your hands regardless because you don't see the truth, the truth behind this. You, you're you getting a re, like a revelation in the month of April. It's a truth, a new truth. It's it's a, it's funny. Okay, so there's two truths that are coming through. The first truth is the fact that what you were holding on to, what you were afraid to let go of, that you were confined to, that you were committed to, it had a lot more going, a lot more to it than meets the eye. This is things of the past. These are things of its past. This could be a person. This could be your work. It could be a responsibility, a project. There's a reason why you were called to let go of it. There's a reason why it was a loss. It was, there's a reason why it was abandoned. There's a reason why no matter how much you tried to, to, get it back, it wouldn't be found. It wasn't meant to be found. Spirit did everything in its power to make sure that the loss was secured, meaning that the lost stayed lost. lost. Because And you, Virgo, now say, okay, I have to call it a loss, a loss. I have to abandon that. I have to abandon my search. When you do it, it's okay for you to um, when you do that, it's okay for you to say to yourself, you know what, I'm kind of mourning that, but I'm also can't help but notice that sun coming up all, on, along the horizon. That sun is confirmation that there is more to you that meets the eye. That's the second truth, not this more to you that meets the eye. There's more to your future than meets the eye, and that is the second truth. The second truth is really truly what is for you will not pass you and anything that was lost is not a truly a loss because it only opens the door for new gain new abundance if i'm looking at this i don't think you realize virgo that that thing that was lost in the ocean and the water this metaphor it's a symbol um it was a plague it brought with it irritants it brought brought with it annoyances it would have brought with it more problems more issue more disease 
then you, that spirit, spirit did not want that for your life. That is the truth. That is the truth. You can't see it on surface level, but that is the truth. And in April, my love, what I'm seeing for you is you're going to have plenty more options. I haven't pulled the rest of these cards yet, but you're get you, you've gotten broken. You're, you're broken free. It feels like it, honestly, it feels as though you're going to be like, wait, I didn't want to lose this thing. If I would have done everything in my power in order to make sure that I found it again, that I gained it again. And spirit is like, literally, that's the same thing. That, that's the problem. Like, that's the same thing that we love about you is the same thing that is a problem. We want to make sure that you are not doing everything in your power to give to things that don't serve you that don't that are more of a nuisance more of an annoyance more of a problem than anything this could be a job or a career or issues that you would have committed to that you would have given your everything to that you would have put all this energy into even changing it helping it to evolve and it would have just you would have just only kept unpacking more and more problems. And because Virgo, because you're such a solid person, and because you're such a committed person, you would have stayed with it. You would have helped to kind of solve it and fix it. And Spirit says, literally abandon that. Abandon that because we want to put your energy into more options, more opportunity. You're going to have this space, but you first have to break free from this. It's the tower moment. So that's that's amazing. Virgo, we just dived right into your thing, your reading just now. I'm going to go ahead and put this away, but I'm going to leave the mice out. You have double mice here. Um, mice bring issues. They're cute, but they bring issues. They bring disease. They bring... They could tear down a whole house. You actually had the house there. You had the house. This is a home that was infected by mice and vermin, a home environment. So this is something that was comfortable to you, that you, you felt like you belonged there. You felt like this is mine. No one can take this from me. I'm going to stay here. And Spirit says, listen, there's more to this than meets the eye. It's like buying a house that has termites. It seems like a dream house, but then you have to realize that there might be better homes out there for you. There might be a better space for you to belong. In the month of, um, for April, see, in the month of April, my love, you are doing this. I want you to hear me when I say this. It feels like the polar opposite. In the month of April, Virgo, I want you to feel like there's going to be some energy that feels toxic. To you, it's not that it's toxic, it's just foreign. There's this really strong message here that says, it's not that it's toxic, it's foreign. It's the unknown. It's your new normal. It's a totally different normal. At the same, at the same time I'm saying that, Virgo, I'm seeing a lot of stuff around you that is shifting, that is evolving, that is transforming. And parts of it are going to blip off. It's almost like this is going to be like the weirdest metaphor ever. But if you go in, into the swamp, um, if you spent time in the swamp, which I have. I spent a lot of time in swamp. Um, or like anywhere where there's water that sits and it stagnates and there's bubbles. There's these little hot bubbles, these pockets of gas that form sometimes in sand and swamp. And if something moves by it and pops it, it pfft, it like pops and it releases a, a, a noxious gas, like the gas stinks, like you could smell it before you can see it. And there's going to be these pockets that you're moving forward and it seems toxic, but it, that release, it is not toxic, it's just healing. And Virgo, it, that for you, it's going to be so hard for you because Virgo, you're, you know, you know health. You know how to be like your best. You know vitality. You know life. You know service and love. So for you to see these pops and to smell it, you're like, oh my God, this is a problem. It is not a problem. It's, it's releasing. So as you move forward, Virgo, this is this new normal. There's this new normal. Now, it's funny because we have the lover's card here for you at the very base of this reading. And I don't know if you remember, but... When I was shuffling for you, you also got the crossroads, the card of crossroads. And that means choice. There's a decision, um, a choice, a decision that is that you need to make. Virgo, I'm seeing, I'm getting a sense that you're going to 
be nudged into the into the month of April. You're being nudged from this space. Um, you're being nudged out of this old normal into this new normal. It's going to seem foreign. It's going to feel weird. It's going to feel different. Not your usual. You might be exploring non-traditional connections, relationships, non-traditional ways of making money, career. This is a general reading, so I'm not entirely sure what this is dealing with. Um, it's hard for me even now to put my finger on this, Virgo. Um, yeah, this is brand new. This is new. This is new energy, something that you haven't done before. Um, and you're just, you, you said goodbye to one phase of your life. Um, Spirit is really calling me to tell you right now, like, don't look at it as a loss. It's such a, it's, it literally was a door open, a portal to this new, to this newness, this new way of making money, this new way of experiencing relationships, this new way of looking at yourself, this new way of healing. Okay, this, I feel like when I see this fox and the whip, this is something that you would not have chosen for yourself. If left to your own, if left on your own, you would have totally chosen something else. In fact, you probably would have still been on the banks of this ocean looking for what was lost. Spirit is saying, listen, open the book, the, the hidden book that the, the divine holds, that the universe holds, full of words. Those words are prophecies. Those words are um, like testimonies that need to be fulfilled, that need to be seen over your life. Um it's hidden, it's a mystery, it's a miracle, but it's new. It, you are not going there's no way that you would know what spirit has in store for your life, so don't even expect it. Um, but you're it's opening up, it's opening up this new door, this new, this newness. Even as I'm looking at this, the hierophant, there's these two people at the base and this piece, this dove. The dove represents peace. Um, but also more than that, freedom and the lightness of energy. I'm seeing this as a space of surrender, surrendering to this new. If you were to, Virgo, hear me, in April, be open, be open to new things. Okay, so Hanged Man is reversed, Seven of Pentacles is reversed, and Ace of Wands reversed. So this, again, this says that energy that you've been stuck on, Virgo, for maybe the year or however long it was, for everyone it's different, whatever it was that you were hung up on and stuck on that was really a burden on you, it, the word that just came through was it's a, it was a crisis. It became a point, it came, it came to the point where it was actually a crisis, and Spirit says, we have to divinely intervene this, we have to knock it out of her hands, we have to pull it, pull him out of this situation, because if we do not pull him out, if we do not pull her out, um, she would stay or he would stay and it would it would become a crisis you know, now you need to step into this this newness seven of pentacles says stop looking for it <laughs> seven of pentacles reverse says stop looking for it ace of wands says stop forcing it do you remember it brings me back it's reminding me of what it was that i said in the beginning that there's this energy that i got from you at the very start that says am i ever going to get my life back? Am I ever going to feel happy again? Am I ever going to feel excited about life? Am I ever going to have my energy? Am I ever going to have this idea? Is this thing ever going to spark up and happen? And spirit says, yes, yes. But you would have been stuck. You don't even, that's, that's what I'm telling you. That's why it was a plague, a crisis. If you think about it, let's say you're in this really unhealthy environment, this home, and it's filled with termites. You don't even know it. And you start getting allergic reactions. You start getting sense. Your skin has sensitivities. You start like having, you know, can't breathe normally or whatever the case is. You go to the doctor and the doctor says to you, you know, you have an allergy to termite poop. Like, I don't know. I've heard this before. But you have an allergy to this. This is in your home. Do you have termite termites? And you're like, I did not know. But yes like turns out that I do so it goes to show you like these issues that you were building a home in that you were just kind of settling in 
they had more issues and would have created more problems than you would have even known what to do with. And sometimes, Virgo, even you can't fix it. Spirit will pull you out and say, we do not want you to sit in this. We do not, we would not abandon you and leave you in that squalor situation, that energetic situation. There's new, I wanted to pull this so badly. There's a message coming through. There's an information that's coming through in April. I, I'm, I don't know why, but I'm getting the sense that it's going to come through first, first in your dreams. You're going to start seeing signs or feeling signs, hearing signs, sensing signs of it in your dreams. This is just Spirit's way. Oh, I put the card away. Darn, I wish I didn't. This is just Spirit's way of speaking to you and telling you that, listen, follow your senses. Don't look for it. We will come to you and we will bring it to you. That's something that I'm definitely seeing for you, um, Virgo. Okay, listen. Listen, my loves. See? Again, choice, choice. In April, you're going to be called to make a choice. You're going to make a decision. What you don't want to do is do it from this spot of I have lived and I have lost. It's very easy for people to, especially you, Virgo, for you to experience all of what you have gone through and to make a choice and decision from this space of heartache and suffering. It would make sense for you to do that. Spirit says, do not do that. Spirit says and divine says for the month of April, when you are, um, when we present to you choices and information and decisions, um, and, and it's not even so much a decision as much as it is inspiration again, this reconnection, you're healing from the past, Virgo. You have to be very easy on yourself, all that you have gone through. You have really broken some records when it comes to karmic ties, bonds, things that most people would don't even have the power to break the bond so they just choose to sit in it because it's so powerful what is it they feel um and it's so powerful the pull that it has on them and virgo you did this in a year two years five years like it's it's an it's incredible what is it you've gone through you've totally revel being revolutionized it's like a total rebirth reawakening but don't moving forward when you make choices when you find this life again when you have this greater life again as i'm looking at this he's holding this um script a manual that brings me right back to what it was i was saying that spirit has written for you prophecies the book of your life that you haven't even seen all of what can what will be exposed all of what will be revealed those prophecies are written word the wording is everything words are powerful words are magic the mind is magic um these things you're going to get a script it's going to come through you and i feel like it's in your dreams it's in at nighttime even as i'm saying this i'm a virgo and i'm doing this reading at night i felt more called to to start working and do the share the intuitive message at night versus during the day virgo that's what it is that i'm seeing for you it's messages you're going to be working with candles um, working with your dreams, journaling, a lot of subconscious magic, a lot of subconscious work happening here. I'm not saying shadow work. Virgo, I feel like you've done a lot of shadow work. I feel like you have to leave the shadow behind and actually move back into the light space again. You have to have life again. You have to have light. Even as I'm looking at this, he's looking, this card is saying, come back to the light. Come back to the light. It's time to come back to the light. You can't stay in the darkness forever. In fact, the shadow, the darkness was there to bring you right back to the light space and the light space will bring you back to the darkness. But it's balanced. But right now, Virgo, you have to think about your happily ever after. You have to think about your heart's truest wish, your truest desires. Things about you are revolutionizing. They're changing. You are almost rebelling. That makes sense too because you have the Hierophant here reversed. Hierophant says, follow the rules, follow tradition. Virgo, in the month of April, Spirit says, pop that out, throw it, throw the grenade. You are doing things from a space of a rebel. You are deviating from your normal path. If you normally do this, 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 this in your work, or if you normally expect this, this, this from your work, Spirit is saying for the month of April, Throw that out, that routine, those expectations, those deadlines that you have for yourself, throw that out. When it comes to dating, we're going to talk about your love life for a go, but when it comes to that, expect new, expect differently. Very much explore the options. Don't limit yourself to just any one thing. Don't look for it. Feel it. Experience it. Be open to it um, and see what happens. See, Virgo, Wheel of Fortune. As this wheel turns and as your fortune turns, as your fate changes, because that's where you're at right now, 
Do not be your own worst enemy starting in April and bring in that same past energy into the present and into the future. Spirit is saying that you were hurting yourself, um, entertaining this, that. Um, that's just very, very clear. Okay, so then we have the, the moon card reversed, the chariot upright, the knight of cups reversed. This brings me back to what it was I was saying. It brings me back to those hot pockets, those hot swamp swamp bubble pockets that um, when you pop them, you're going to smell it. You're going to smell it and sense it first before you see it. It's going to feel um, bad because it's not your normal. For you, you would prefer fresh air, ocean air, flowers, whatever. And for you to smell the swamp, and for you to see the energy of the swamp is going to make you be like, well, I have to clean this up. I have to make this better. No, Virgo. You have to sit in this space of embracing the funk of it all and enjoy the funk of it all and stop looking for the solution in it. Just embrace it. Just be in it. This is going to help you to merge like I said, didn't I say this? The shadow and the light. This is you working with both of those things, the the light of your life and the shadow of your life, and then you're going to have new momentum. All of this is to give you clarity. All of this is to take you out of the moon card, re energy reversed. It would have been very... Um, unstable. You would have been emotionally unstable if you stayed in this current situation. It would have been insanity. Insanity, they say, is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different a different result, a different outcome. You would have drove yourself, drove yourself crazy, Virgo, if you stayed in that current situation, and then you would have called that crazy normal. This is when the universe and spirit is saying, listen, let things come to you don't go out and seeking it. We, for the month of April, Virgo, your only thing that you need to do is be open to receiving ideas, inspiration, clarity, comfort. And then also, as you do that, as you sit still, there's gonna, that's, it brings me back to those pockets, that information that comes through or those things that you hear that seem noxious, that seem bad, that seem for you like, oh my God, I shouldn't be feeling this way. I shouldn't be this sad. I shouldn't be this excited or this triggered and that's just showing you that it's there that it's present that it's being healed that it's being taken care of sometimes it's the the bad that makes you feel like it, it's not bad it's just the when you sit with something that makes you feel uncomfortable you see it you learn it you embrace it and you do differently because of it virgo for the month of april you're going to be a, a, under a total like a total revelation a total revolution um, and you're going to then, then years later, mark my words, you're going to look back at a moment like this and be like, now I understand. And you're also going to see the same thing that it was that you lost. You're going to see in the months to come or maybe a year, the real truth behind that person, behind that thing. And you're going to be like, damn, I dodged a bullet. I, lo I dodged a bullet. Okay, spirit. I have a tendency sometimes to go on and on with my readings because a lot of information flows through and if I talk, um, more information comes through. But So I'm just going to power through with your reading, Virgo. I'm, I'm feeling the need to bring out three different cards for you. So Spirit, one more. Ah, okay, so maybe four. Look at that. Look at this, my love. First card first is doubt. This is that feeling of, am I really healing? Am I really progressing? Am I really moving forward? Because the way that I look at it, it doesn't seem like I am. And spirit says, you are. It brings me right back to what it was I was saying, that when those, those noxious smells, the smell is just a metaphor. It's just a symbol. But when you start seeing these things, these things pop, the idea of perfection or this relationship where this idea when you think that it's going to be amazing and it pops it can really be disappointing it can really be the the defeat of it can be deafening the loss of it can be deafening where you're like I can't see or hear anything else but the failure of this and the emotional feeling of loss don't doubt it the other thing is this bring the word that came through for you was confidence this brings me back to what it was that I was originally saying 
that it, the first thing that I heard for you, Virgo, was am I ever going to feel myself again? Am I ever going to feel life again? Am I ever going to be happy? Am I ever going to be excited? Am I, is that idea ever going to come to me? Whatever that thing is, that's your, you have to have confidence. Yes, have confidence in it and it will be brought back to you. This, when I see the word confidence, it's not only you believing in yourself, but it's you being like, I am assured. Like it's this assurance. I, ha I am assured that this is happening. The second, the third card that came for you is clarity. I don't know if you can see that because my lights are very bright, but clarity. This is exactly what it was that I was saying for you, Virgo, is that spirit is like when you have these, these things that kind of pop through for you, this moment of like release or um, it feels like trauma. You would say, you would say that it's toxic, that it would be a burden, but in reality, it's just the truth being revealed and you learning from it in that moment. It brings you clarity. All of this is for di in divine timing. You cannot rush divine timing. In fact, the center of your reading was the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is connected to divine timing. It's not about racing forward out of it. It's not about manipulating your way out of it. It's about sitting back, embracing it, and being like, listen, sometimes spirit carries me in its hands and takes me to my destination so that I am not the only one who's, who, that I don't have to take myself. Okay. Yes, Virgo. So the cards that came through um, for you are peaks of joy. And basically this card is about those moments, those highs and those lows. Um, those moments where you're just like, dang, things are working. Like things, I have confidence in myself. And then you have the lows where you have doubt. Right next to that is rock bottom, Virgo. This brings me right back to what I was saying. Please do not get disappointed by this reading and be like, damn, like April is not my month. April is your month. Um, that, that moment where it's like a rock bottom, it brings me back to that swamp pocket. The pocket that pops and the smell releases. And you're just like, that's not, that's not my best self. That's not how I would best see myself. And spirit says, embrace this, see it for what it is, journal it, learn from it. It's all giving you clarity. There's going to be moments where you have a high, high. There's going to be a moment where you have a low, low. All of this brings me right back to what, like all of this reading is just all falls together. I'm not even surprised, but field of dreams. This is all to bring you back into alignment, Virgo. The month of April for you, Virgo, is learning gaining better clarity and better vision on what it is that you are what it is that you even want to manifest moving forward because for a minute you I, I feel like you were stuck I feel like you were really kind of stuck on trying to make one thing manifest you were trying to make one thing happen and spirit was like we got to get her out we got to get her out if if we leave her she will be there for the rest of her life and it would be a plague we have a lot that she needs to do, a lot of things that she needs to be of service for. We got to pull her out. Okay, Virgo. So I did say that I was going to talk to you about relationships. So for the month of love for Virgo. Wait, what? Did you hear what I just said? For the month of love in the month of April for Virgo is what? What is April going to look like for Virgo babies? I feel like one more. Boom, got it. I'm working with Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. Okay, wow. Do you see? Wow. Okay, so free yourself, deception, and codependency. When I look at the card deception, Virgo, this brings me right back to what it was that I was saying in the very beginning. That there was a way that you were looking at life, that you were looking at certain things, and spirit says, if you only could see everything. Sometimes it's not what people do, it's not what people say, it's what they think, it's what they're secretly planning, it's things that are going on behind the scenes that you don't even know about. Spirit looks out for you and pulls you out of deceiving, deceptive circumstances. On the flip side of that, do you remember I said that there was two truths? The first truth is the truth of the situation that it is that you had to let go of, the thing that it is that you had to release and surrender. The second truth is this new awakening, this new um, like clarity 
And I feel like this deception card is you would have been deceiving yourself. Um, and that's why Spirit is saying, listen, we are freeing you from this, this codependency, this need for this thing to prove to you, to show you your worth, to show you your value. This codependency that you have on an idea. Love can only be this way. I have to choose this type of partner. This type of par partner is the only partner that can work for me. This job is the only opportunity that's out there for me. I am this. All of that is a deception. You've deceived yourself. And for the month of April, Virgo, your idea is totally being shifted. That's why I was saying it almost feels like you're a rebel. It almost feels like um, like who you are, who you... And this is just really standing out to me right now. It's, it's a buckeye. It's um, like a seed that people carry... Um, it, for magic and intention in order to bring them good luck. Um, so I don't know if you want to get your hands on that somewhere, but this just really called out to me, Virgo. But you're freeing yourself from those confining beliefs. You had the Hierophant reversed in your reading. You also had the Wheel of Fortune, and you also had the Hanged Man reversed. You were really hung up and codependent on a thing, a person, a place, an idea. That codependency, for some of you guys, I'm really getting the sense that it's this belief that love can only be this one way. Love can only happen this one way. Or love isn't going to happen to me. That's what you were hinged on. That was your addiction. This, okay, this is the only way that can happen. This is the only partner that I want. This is the only thing that is for me. And Spirit says, you have deceived yourself. And we are going to free you from that. We're going to free you from that. Okay, so hold on. Let's go ahead and dive into this because this is really starting to get juicy. Um, I think, especially the fact that the Buckeye just came out for you. If you look into the symbolism of that, you would probably be like, wow. Okay, so when it comes to deception and love for Virgo. Okay, that one definitely wants to come out. Love, love, love for Virgo. Wow. Okay, Virgo. First things first, I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles. See, oh my God, I knew it. I was just about to say, when I see the Three of Pentacles, I feel like this is this belief system, Virgo, that you have to do this, be this, in order to gain this. And Spirit is like, that was another codependent, uh, another idea that you were dependent on and it was so toxic. It was so noxious. So when you start doing things differently, when you start revel like this revol revelation of your life, this revolution of your life, when you start breaking that idea, that concept of I can only receive love if I do this, that's when I say three of pentacles, that's the first thing. It's this idea, this concept of I have to do this in order to gain. And then six of pentacles is right beside it saying that it's almost like you're controlling like what you give what you receive um what you will allow yourself to receive and that's what needs to be broken here because spirit says don't you want to be happy don't you the word is fulfilled fulfillment virgo when it comes to your love life you are meant to have bounty you're meant to have blessing abundance it's meant to be endless it's also meant to be effortless and things have to come together they want to flow together for you especially for the month of April and there are things that it's like a light in your life when that thing when that person is gone the light goes out with it the sunlight goes out with it you have to ask yourself you know number one was that relationship healthy and was my um my, was my reaction to it healthy? Did I give it what I should have or would I should I have given less to it? And then also moving forward, it's about revelation. It's about, wow. <laughs> so we have the moon card here and we also have the two of wands. The moon card is showing up a lot for you. And this is, again, it's about this energy of I don't want to deceive myself anymore. I don't want to be deceived. I don't want to have imbalance. I don't want to... The other thing that's coming through is like you intuitively... If you say... If there's a loss, right, Virgo? I know I'm going to sound like I'm totally contradicting myself. But some of you guys, you lost certain things because of your actions, because of what you did, because of your 
picking at it and critiquing it. And that's something that needs to be let go of, Virgo. I'm also seeing you being more free-flowing, more fluid, more... All of that for this. All of those cards just jumped out for this one card. I know that for a fact. And that card is trust. Maybe it was that you didn't trust. Maybe you didn't trust yourself. Maybe you didn't trust others. Because I remember you also came through as the Queen of Swords, reversed. It's new energy of children coming up twice. So maybe children are connected to this, but I'm also seeing play. I'm seeing fun, especially with the sun card here. And the sun card also represents children, serenity, having peace within your choices and your decisions. This is what the um, angels are trying to give to you and heal to you right now. Um, and then I'm also the, at the very base of this reading is the guardian angel. And I can't ignore the fact that forgiveness is here. I feel like you have to forgive yourself and you have to reach out to others for forgiveness if you haven't already, or you have to receive an apology, Virgo. Maybe you're the one who needs to receive an apology. Um, Cause again, I'm getting this sense of you, everyone's different, but be very mindful about who and what you're giving your energy to, what you're giving into, what you're feeding into. Because when it comes to love for the month of April, Virgo, you have to remember it has to be abundant. It has to be a bounty. Um, they have to they have to choose and lift you up. They have to support you. It can't be, um, you know, you doing it all. Like you putting in all the, the effort and the reward. I'm sorry, all of the effort and the work. You have to enjoy the reward. And the reward is enjoying that relationship. So you have to be very conscious and aware. And if there's those, the moon, the, the moon card here is about, it's actually, it brings me back to the swamp, you know, to be honest with you, the swampy part of the, of the ocean. But it's about, you know, the unknown, following your intuition, following these signs and signals. I feel, I get this sense that it's going to feel like, um, it's going to feel unhealthy. It's going to feel toxic. That's the first thing that you're going to say is, well, the relationship was toxic. Mm, like, or this is toxic. This is bad. I shouldn't feel this way. No, that's actually passion. It's pure passion expressing itself and it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm seeing for you. And two of wands says, you know, maybe decide like and you don't have to make a, a choice, a decision for the month of April, Virgo, but they do are they are saying, you know, spirit is saying really kind of be easy, be still. Don't run away from the mucky things. Don't run away from the difficulty. Actually embrace the difficulty. Sit with it. Learn from it. Gain clarity from it on yourself and on others. The truth is going to reveal itself. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Divine, what is it, one last message that you want to give Virgos for the month of April? And then this, I love this deck right now, Notes from the Universe on Love and Connection. Well, those three cards. Wait, one more. <laughs> one more. First thing that's really standing out to me is the color blue for you, which is so interesting because I was actually working with my blue candles by the ocean earlier today, which if you're not aware, I have a apothecary and I make oils for my clients, oils for myself, and... Oh, um, one of the things that I'll be sharing in the month of April is fixed candles. Um, I don't know why I'm just so drawn to the Buckeye right now. Okay, so the first thing that jumped out to me is you have more options than you realize. This brings me back to the Two of Wands that kept showing up for you and also this revelation of, oh my gosh, I... If I stayed in my normal status quo, I would never be able to experience this newness this new energy, this breath of fresh air, this new perspective, this new relationship, this new shift, and this new idea, this new aspect of myself that has been suppressed and hidden from myself for quite some time. Honor thyself. Spirit says that you honor yourself by really stepping into it. It reminds me of a rebel. It seems like this person is a rebel. You'll see yourself like, am I a rebel? Like, who am I right now? This is the new you. This is you coming in and in, into 
focus with yourself and to not expect this idea of perfection or everything's put together, everything is all together. Convince yourself, not others. Literally, this is like, I just see you putting so much energy on yourself and saying, I need this for myself. This is my truth. This is me giving me a chance. And you're being watched by loving eyes. Not only do I see this by with your angels, but I'm also seeing this as actual people watching you and observing you and being like, dang, like, we've been waiting. I'm, I'm getting this, sp this space of people being like, there she goes. Like, this, we've been waiting for her. We never thought that she would be able to do it. We never thought that she would do it, but she did do it. You put yourself out there. You take that first step, and things change. Um, it inspires other people. The next card is, you are a spiritual teacher. Share your wisdom with others you were born to teach. I am getting this more of a sense of you putting yourself first and taking that first step, <laughs> which is the next card, first step for yourself. Um, it really does, it inspires other people and it teaches other people and unity. You're spiritually connected to everyone through God. Use a sacred bond to heal your family, friends, and yourself. I'm getting a sense of you are coming back into union with yourself, but also it's always kind of like, you know, comes together, which means like when you come into union back with yourself, you also come more into union with your partnership. You, you breathe new life into your relationships. You breathe new life into yourself. You breathe, breathe new life into your ideas, your career, and stuff like that. But you have to take that first step and to really pop the grenade, kind of rebel, deviate from your norm. Don't go looking for truth. Truth will find you. The answers will find you. It will come to you in divine intervention through your spiritual practices. All of those things will come together. They will find you all easy and effortless, but you just have to do the, first, do the first step. Do it for yourself. Okay, Virgo? So that's what it is that I'm seeing for you, my loves. I hope that this reading makes sense. If you did love this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up or you leave a comment down below and let me know if it resonated, if you would like to see more videos like this. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you next month. Bye.